Ukraine is preparing a strike deep into Russian territory and does not intend to coordinate it with Western allies since Ukrainian weapons will be used in the strike. This is reported by the American news agency Associated Press. The publication notes that the main striking force of this action should be the Palyanitsya rocket drone recently developed by Ukrainian engineers. Palyanitsya rocket drone recently developed by Ukrainian engineers. Ukraine says it has a new long-range weapon capable of striking Russian territory without Allied approval, a homegrown missile drone combination that the defense minister promised Monday would be a response to a wave of Russian bombings, the article notes. Ukrainian officials say Palyanitsya was created out of urgent need as Russia has dominated the skies since the war began in February 2022 and Ukraine's Western allies have set conditions for using their long-range missiles in Russia. Recently, a wave of Russian missiles and drones targeted Ukraine's energy infrastructure in the largest such attack in weeks. Protectors of life should have no restrictions on weapons as long as Russia uses all types of its own weapons, President Volodymyr Zelensky said in a Telegram message after the attacks. Zelensky confirmed the existence of the Palyanitsya on Saturday and called it a new class of weapons. Defense Minister Rustem Umarov promised on Monday that the weapons would soon be used again in response to the overnight attack on Ukraine. Ukraine is preparing a response. Weapons of its own production. He wrote on his Facebook Facebook page. This once again proves that long-range capabilities and the lifting of restrictions on strikes against enemy military targets are needed to win. Its range is up to 700 kilometers on par with the US-supplied ATA CMS. It showed a map of various airfields, including Russia's Savasleka Air Base, which is within that range, adding that Palyanitsya could reach at least 20 Russian airfields. Ukraine has long been developing drones that will be able to quickly reach a target. In January of this year, it was reported that a new jet-powered strike drone had made its first flight in Ukraine. In the aft part of the new drone, an unknown type of power plant was placed, which is likely a jet engine. Pantsir S-1 air defense systems near the Russian Interior Ministry Department in St. Petersburg. Our agent conducted surveillance of the Russian Interior Ministry Department for the Primorsky district of the city and shared some intriguing information with us, read a statement posted by the guerrillas on Telegram. The guerrillas criticized the placement of these systems, particularly given the Ukrainian forces' recent breakthroughs along the state border where air defense systems are in short supply. They described the move as very foolish. According to the guerrillas, Moscow and St. Petersburg remain the most heavily protected cities in Russia. To protect these cities, the Russian military command seems willing to sacrifice frontline cities. Meanwhile, residents of Kursk, Bryansk and Belgorod are left to fend for themselves, the partisans added. According to the Kyiv Post, the Pantsir missile system is a self-propelled surface-to-air missile and anti-aircraft artillery system designed to protect military, industrial and administrative installations from various airborne threats. It offers defense against aircraft, helicopters, precision munitions, cruise missiles and UAVs, particularly at low altitudes. According to open sources, the unit cost of the Pantsir ranges from $13.15 million to $14.67 million on the export market. Previously, President Volodymyr Zelensky mentioned in an interview with Indian media, we know where they have air defense and where they don't. Everything has been checked. He added, there is air defense around Putin's dachas, around Moscow, in St. Petersburg, but in ordinary towns, like in the Kursk region, where we quickly advanced, there is nothing. In late June, the Atesh Partisan movement revealed it had identified a Pantsir S-1 air defense system in Sochi tasked with guarding Putin's dacha. Reports have increasingly indicated that Russia is deploying this air defense system in both its cities and occupied Crimea in response to attacks by Ukrainian long-range drones. Recall Ukraine wants Western approval to use long-range storm shadow missiles to target objectives deep within Russia to pressure Moscow into negotiating a ceasefire, according to The Guardian. The Guardian recalls President Zelensky's Independence Day speech in which he promised retaliation against the aggressor state for missile attacks on civilian areas. Our enemy will also know what the Ukrainian retaliation means, the president said. 
worthy, symmetrical, and long-range. They will know that, sooner or later. A Ukrainian response will reach any point in the Russian Federation that is a source of danger to the life of our state and our people. President Zelensky said. According to The Guardian, Kyiv believes that demonstrating the Ukrainian military's capability to strike deep into Russia might prompt the Kremlin to reassess its strategy. Earlier, the Pentagon stated that Ukraine has the right to strike Russian territory but only in specific border areas, being shelled by Russians and within a limited distance.